I can't believe me. I do know that you're working very hard to improve. So let's see what you have done in this um, in this set of essays. Okay. Uh, university students have too much freedom and do not study enough. To what extent do you agree or disagree? All right. Let's see what you said. Experts throughout both the developed and developed world have agreed that university students now have much more freedom. Okay. Some believe that they are not studying enough. However, personally, I disagree. This essay will argue that although tertiary students have much more freedom now, it does not necessarily mean that they are not studying enough. Using examples from the UK government and Oxford University to demonstrate points and proof arguments. All right, good. I like that. So you really, you, you, I like what you did here, okay, especially since you showed that there is validity to both sides of the argument. So, yeah, okay, they do have much more freedom, all right, but it's not because they are not studying enough. So, yes to this, but no to this. So, and maybe not even too much freedom. They just have more freedom, all right? So, um, so far, I like it. Let's see what you said after that. On the one hand, there is ample evidence that suggests that contemporary university students have much more freedom, okay? And the central reason behind this is twofold. Firstly, university curricula have been tailored, uh, mm, no, not that, but have been tailored so that only relevant subjects are left. For example, Oxford University's 2016 curriculum for the Bachelor of Arts in Political Science has been reduced by 30% comparing it to the 2005 curricula, curriculum for this of the same bachelor's degree. Secondly, subjects which are outdated and irrelevant have been eliminated. Okay, uh, yes, okay, uh, for example, most of the subjects in computer science have been discarded due to the rapid advancement in technology, which made several subjects irrelevant. Thus, it is possible to state beyond doubt that there is much more freedom given to university students. Okay, so, um, mm -hmm -hmm. basically, I felt like your two arguments here were really just one, all right? You basically said that they've been tailored so only relevant subjects are left. And then you said here, you're secondly, the outdated and irrelevant subjects have been eliminated. Well, it's the same thing as the argument you just said before. So you pretty much just said the same thing twice. Um, that's my, my one complaint, all right? That you essentially only had one main idea here and not... Um, not not two. They, they're basically re repeats of each other. Now, the other thing is that, remember what it says here, too much freedom. And so really what you're supposed to be arguing here is not that they have much more freedom, but that they have too much freedom. So if you're wondering, well, what on earth could I possibly say to argue this, that there's too much freedom and not enough studying? Well, you could say that um, our society today and our world is so cutthroat and so competitive that really students should not um, let any opportunity they have to advance themselves and to make themselves more competitive go to waste. So um, students should you know, take advantage of every single opportunity, take an extra class, uh, study more, uh, you know, get an internship, get uh, a job, uh, just so that they um, don't have freedom, but they actually are using the time that they have in order to, um, you know, progress. All right, let's look at the other paragraph now. On the other hand, although there is a case for too much freedom given to students, to state that they do not study enough is not justifiable. This is largely because tertiary students who have the extra time that is not demanded by their course, get rid of comma and get rid of they, make use of it for internship and volunteer work. There it is. For example, a recent empirical research by the UK government demonstrated that over 86% of students made use of their extra time to gain relevant experience in their related field. This is especially true in the field of information technology, computer science, where students volunteer to work for a startup company. This in turn made their GPA significantly higher comparing, no, compared to their counterparts who do not have the same experience. Thus, it is conclusively clear that too much freedom, huh? No. This is, thus, it is conclusively clear that too much freedom given to tertiary students, what? Oh that too much freedom the tertiary students have does not necessarily equate to not studying enough. Oh, okay. 
From the arguments and examples given, I firmly believe that tertiary students having too much freedom does not necessarily mean they do not study enough. It is predicted that students will excel further if they have both a theoretical and practical understanding of a related field. Okay, um, this was a challenging topic. Um, why is it challenging? Because um, I like the way you did it. You decided to analyze this too much freedom in one paragraph and then not enough study in the other paragraph. And you said, no, 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 you know, they, they do study. And so I like that. Even though I, you talked about having more freedom, that's not what the essay said. It said too much freedom. So that's something you needed to redo. Um, now, if you found that that was too challenging to do it like that, then what you could have done is you could have argued about this, too much freedom and not studying enough. So you could have said, well, yeah, you know, there is a, um, a section of the population that does have a lot of freedom, too much freedom, and they don't study enough. But you know what? They will um, find obstacles in their career later on. So you could say that, sure, we all know students who sit in cafes and, you know, meander all day long and just, you know, do, do really anything productive. Of course there are people like that, but, you know, they will, they'll, they'll find it in front of them as they say, like they'll, they'll, you know, see the, the fruits of their labor or rather lack thereof in the future. So you could have talked about that point. And then you could have talked about the opposite, which is no, they don't have too much freedom. And they certainly, uh, don't, uh, not, they, they, don't study too little. <laughs> That's what I wanted to say. Okay. Um, and you could have said that, you know, even though maybe their courses aren't so rigorous in terms of the time that it requires, they are doing things in order to, you know, uh, move forward in their future and advance their resumes and so forth. Okay. You mostly did that, but this was kind of challenging here with this too much freedom. I found that difficult for me as well. All right. Why don't we move on to your letter now? To whom it may concern, I'm writing this letter to express my deep dissatisfaction regarding my flight that I booked from your travel company last month. Allow me to elaborate the details below. Okay. My flight, which was supposed to be scheduled 18th of August, was rescheduled last minute without me knowing. This incident occurred when I arrived at the airport on the day of my supposed flight. As I am from another state, I need to commute by bus for four hours before I can reach the airport. When I arrived and about... When I arrived and was, you need a verb here, and was about to check my luggage, not check in, check my luggage. The staff informed me that my flight was rescheduled for the next day. I was furious and taken aback because the following day was my scheduled interview for my job application. I argued with the staff and reasoned that I never received any information of the changes that occurred. The staff politely informed me that this change was forwarded to all passengers since the 10th of August. For a well-known company such as yours, I find it unacceptable. No. I find your failure to inform me about the changes of to my flight unacceptable. Okay, change the words here. Change the word order. As compensation, the least you can do is reimburse all the expenses that I incurred, not only with the rebooking of my flight, but also with the last-minute accommodation in a hotel. To further discuss this, you can talk to me my number. Okay. I await your prompt response. Lovely. Okay. It's good. I mean, yeah, there were a couple of places that I had to correct things. There were, you know, um, some little changes that we had to make. But on the whole, I liked it. It was good. Uh, you have to make sure that you're appropriately formal here. I think there was a place or two where I thought it was a little too informal. But um, it was good. It definitely seems like you were irate. You got the point across action should be taken reimburse okay what was wrong with the trip okay they canceled the flight last minute when was a trip when when the trip what when the trip has taken okay all right well i thought you did a nice job with this i liked that you began it appropriately you ended it appropriately all of it was very good okay good job here just make the changes to this essay, but primarily the task two, which we know needed a little more work. All right, let's meet back with another set. I'm looking forward to them. You're doing really well. Um, very pleased. Okay, so let's uh, see you next set of essays.